financial planning. Today, we will discuss the second part of fixed and working capital, this is financial planning. In the last two part, we discussed the business finance, its nature, its importance and the benefits and the sources of finance for different uh, business enterprises. Today, we will see the financial planning. So for the for uh, accomplishment of the objective, for achieving the objectives of any enterprise, there should be a planning. So financial planning is the process of estimating the financial requirements of an enterprise. Choosing the sources of funds and deciding how the funds should be dispersed how it should be utilized. Financial planning involves the process of estimating the financial requirements of an enterprise and choosing the appropriate sources of funds and deciding how the fund is to be utilized. That is financial planning. And it has some features. If we see the characteristic features of financial planning, we will see the financial planning involves deciding how, when and why the economic activities. Okay, financial planning discusses about the economic activities, when it should be done, why it should be done and how it should be done. Then. Like any other planning, financial planning is also future oriented. The plan is prepared for achieving the objectives in the future. The financial planning is future oriented, so it needs it needs forecasting. Then next feature you see the financial planning involves deciding the objectives, policies, procedures, methods and programs concerning fund. Okay, financial planning, decide the objectives, policies, procedures, methods and programs concerning fund. So, objectives. What are objectives? See, every organization is set to achieve certain objectives. This aims or purpose that an organization wants to achieve over different time periods are called objectives. Okay? The aims and purposes that an organization wants to achieve over different time periods are called the objectives. The next is policy. A policy is a standing plan which guides decision making. Policy forms the boundaries within which decision can be made and it directs the decision towards the accomplishment of the objectives. Okay, policy. Policies are standing plans which guides the decision making, which direct the decision for the achievement of the objectives. Then next to procedures. Procedures are the steps which are taken to implement the policy. For the implementation of the policy, certain steps is to steps are to be taken. These are the chronological sequences of steps and these steps are taken to implement the policies. Then implement the policies are called the procedures, then methods. Methods are the formalized and the standardized 
standardized method, standardized way of accomplishing the repetitive and routine work. It is a formalized way of doing work. Then programs. Programs are the concrete action plans. Besides how, when and by whom the work is to be done. So these are the different types we have seen. And the financial planning decides the objectives, policies, procedures, methods and programs concerning the funds. Our next feature you see, it has a wide scope. The scope of financial planning is wide. First you see, financial planning estimating the fixed and working capital needed in the business. Okay. Estimating the fixed capital and working capital needed in the business. Fixed capital, uh, we have already discussed it for the uh, purchasing of fixed asset. And working capital is needed for the present operation. Then, selecting the appropriate sources of the fund and their ratio in the total amount. Financial planning. Select the appropriate source. In the beginning, we have seen financial planning, the process of estimating fund, and choosing the sources of the fund, and deciding how the fund is to be utilized. Okay, so selecting the sources of fund and the ratio in the total amount. Then, financial planning formulate the policy for the utilization of the fund and the dispersal of the earning. So, this is the scope of financial planning. Now you see, then financial planning involves the capitalization, financial planning involves deciding the capitalization, capital structure, capital budgeting, and uh, credit and collection and dividend policy of an organization. Okay. Financial planning is deciding the capitalization, deciding the capitalization, capital structure, capital budgeting. Credit and collection, dividend policy. So, financial planning includes all these things. Capitalization. What is capitalization? Capitalization is the process of converting a company's income and asset into capital. It is the total amount of securities to be issued to raise capital. A company needs capital. We have seen in the beginning without the capital, we cannot run the business. So the process of making capital is known as capitalization. And capital structure. What is capital structure? Capital structure is the kind of securities to be issued. The kinds of securities to be issued and the proportionate amount that makes up capitalization. Capital structure is the types of securities to be issued and the proportionate amount make it capitalization. Okay, capital structure means the composition of the funds and making up of the capital. It's the composition of the funds and making up of the long term capital. So the long term capital can be made by issuing three types of securities. A company can make long term capital by issuing different types of securities such as equity shares, preference shares and debentures. These securities are issued to make long 
10 capital and a decision about the proportion of these three is known as capital structure this is capital structure company for bringing long term fund company issued these different types of securities and a decision regarding the proportion among these three securities is known as a capital structure then capital budgeting capital budgeting is the process of estimating a company's investment and huge expenditure for bringing maximum return okay it is the process of estimating the investment and huge expenditure capital expenditure in order to in order to get the maximum return or best return so the capital expenditure of a company includes the spending made on fixed purchase of the fixed asset and the spending made on the repair of the fixed asset and the expenditure of the research and development and other expansion activities then credit and depression the uh, due receive and payment payment and the reception of the due then dividend policy all this comes in the financial planning now we will see the importance of financial planning see in the beginning i told you financial planning is very important for deciding the capital structure and for deciding the sources of the fund and for the utilization of the fund this is very important now importance of financial planning so financial planning is important it avoids the problem of shortage and a surplus of fund shortage and surplus of fund then make a sound capital structure and sound capital structure is made then utilization of fund effective utilization of a effective utilization of fund coordinating the activities of department coordinating the activities of department coordinating the different activities so far departments then brings effective control control of financial activities it helps the management to exercise effective control of the of the financial activities and then to prepare the business show it helps the firm to face the business show see the a good a sound financial planning helps a firm helps a company to avoid the problems of shortage and surplus of fund it is because of the intelligent estimate made on the future and the current requirements of fund in the absence of sound financial planning a company may face the shortage of the fund okay so financial planning helps an enterprise to avoid the problems of shortage and surplus of a fund then see financial planning helps to make a sound capital structure we have seen capital structure is the composition or the make, uh, making up of the long term fund is known as capital structure and uh, a good financial planning helps to prepare some of the capital structure that means uh, it makes a balance between equity capital and debt capital equity capital and uh, loan capital debt capital and equilibrium is brought between this uh, equity and uh, debt then 
Financial planning helps the effective utilization of financial resources. Financial planning helps the effective utilization of the financial resources. So the resources are allocated into various projects based on their relative significance, which avoids the wastage of the funds. Waste, which avoids the wastage of the utilization. Okay. So Financial planning. Financial planning helps the effective utilization of our financial resources by selecting the different project and then calculating the financial needs and then which will reduce the wastage of the economic resources. Then again you see financial planning helps in coordinating different functional areas or department of economy. Financial planning coordinate the activities of the departments or the functional areas. Then financial planning helps the management to exercise effective control on the financial activities. So the actual utilization is taken keeping in accordance with the planned utilization of the fund. Then also financial planning helps the firms or the company to prepare the business shocks and crises. So this is the importance of financial planning. So every enterprise there should be a planning. This planning is made for the accomplishment of the objectives. So this is the importance of financial planning. Financial planning avoid the shortage and surplus of the fund. Financial planning makes a sound capital structure. It causes the effective utilization of economic resources and financial planning coordinating the functional areas. And it helps the management to exercise effective control on the financial activities. And it helps to face the business shocks and the crisis. Now you see when formulating a financial plan. An enterprise should see certain five things. Simply, we cannot formulate the financial plan. Certain five things should be kept into consideration. So the first one you see, the nature of the industry. Okay. A particular industry in which the business firm is operating determines the financial needs and investment of the fund. If the industry is capital intensive, if the industry is heavy and capital intensive, such as iron and steel, automobiles, or petrochemicals, such industries need more capital funds for uh, the function manufacturing or uh, expand the capacity and if, if an enterprise uh, which needs a steady growth needs more capital fund for the expansion and modernization growth and modernization and also if there is tough competition for facing the competition also this capital fund is required. So we will prepare financial planning accordingly, seeing the nature of the industry. In capital intensive industry, more capital fund is needed. And a growing industry need more fund. And, and if competition is tough, there is required more fund. And financial planning should be made accordingly. Then second one you see, the size of the industry. Size of the industry is another thing, which is remind the financial planning. A large industry which in steady growth need more capital funds. And after that, see the past record of the industry, the credit is standing, uh, the reputation and attitude of the management, and the degree of risk the enterprise want to assume all this determine the financial needs and 
financial planning. Okay, size of the industry, nature of the industry. And the next you see capital market conditions. Capital market conditions. So capital market conditions you see the cost and availability of the alternative sources of the fund. And the attitude of the financial institutions and banks determine the financial planning. Okay, the availability and cost of the alternative sources of the fund and what's called the attitude of the financial institutions and banks determine the financial planning. You see, the availability of the alternative sources of the fund and its relative merits and demerits determine the financial planning. What is alternative sources of fund? Okay, there is traditional sources and alternative sources. In traditional sources you see invoice discounting, bank loan, overdraft and private equity. In traditional fund, traditional sources of fund, we will see invoice discounting and uh, uh, overdraft, bank loan and private equity. And the alternative sources of funding group, crowd to crowd funding, peer to peer lending, then uh, franchising, then, uh, uh, then what is called uh, leasing, etc. are the alternative sources of fund. Crowd to crowd funding. It is a, a practice of a funding a project by raising small amount of money from large number of people. It provides an equity stake. And this peer-to-peer -peer lending is also a type of crowdfunding, but in this loan is taken from the people. So this type of security is to be issued. This thing, the availability of this, uh, what is called uh, the availability of the alternative sources of the fund and its cost determine what type of securities to be issued. The next uh, government regulation. Government policy and regulations determines the uh, capital funds and the investment needs. Suppose if there is a reduction in the rate of interest. The cost of raising fund is also reduced. At lower cost, company can raise the fund if there is a fall in the rate of interest. Then next one, degree of risk. Degree of risk. Okay, so this is another thing, the degree of risk. A company is willing to assume determine the financial planning. Okay, if a company raise this capital from share, capital by issuing the shares, this company is having little risk because uh, the dividend should be paid only if the company is having profit. Such cases, risk is not there. Company should not make a regular payment. If the company has only profit, then only the dividend will be paid in the case of issuing this uh, equity shares. And uh, too much dependence on this equity shares is also not good. We have seen in the past, the widely held companies, what happened? The promoters cannot retain the control over the widely held companies because the share is given to the public. So too much dependence on equity share will dilute the control of the company. Then the ratio among this equity and this the equity and the profit of the company it determines this the capital funds and the financial planning. So this is the importance so far. These are the five days that we have to consider while formulating the financial planning. Okay? Here we will write them. Before that, we just to see, recall the poems. Financial planning is the estimating, deciding, and, uh, and uh, selecting the financial requirements, sources of funds, and uh, the distribution of the funds. And uh, it is very important, it is future oriented, and uh, it determines how, when, and why the economic activities, 
It forms the policies, methods, objectives, and procedures concerning the fund, and it is estimating the fixed capital and working capital, and it is selecting the sources of the fund, etc., etc. And again, the housing it is needed for solving the problem of shortage and surplus of the fund, for making a sound capital structure, for making an equilibrium between equity and debt capital, and coordinating the functional areas of the business organization and facing the business shocks and, and exercising the control of the financial activities. This financial planning is very important. Thank you.